All right. Well, I'm kind of late to the game, um, but I decided to get up my paper pumpkin. My husband is at the casino playing some poker, and I'm here by myself, and I thought, well, I'll just grab out my paper pumpkin and um, put it together. So I thought I'd go ahead and um, share with you the next paper pumpkin. Now this one that I'm doing is the November. So this one right here is the December. So you had um, from December 11th through January 10th is this next one. And it's called Good Things Come in Small Packages. So this is kind of the teaser. They're going to give us 16 card holders four of each four designs and um, it looks like it says PS you'll love the specially designed paper pumpkin box so it looks like it's gonna be um, confetti uh, maybe related towards birthdays then also they have um, an extended kit that you can purchase and I actually have those at the office I'm at home right now so um, I will um, maybe Maybe edit this before I post it and I'll put it at the end. Um, you'll get to see the um, extended um, for the December kit. So um, I know positively I have those at the office. All right, so let's get into the um, November 2022 kit. And it looks like um, they are maybe going to be tags that you can use for your presents. So let's go ahead and sort everything out. I should have probably already done this, but this is your stamps. Um, it's got a rain beer, rain, rain beer, reindeer, and um, ho ho ho, and open me, and from Santa, joy, Merry Christmas, to from. I always like these. I always keep these um, in a separate um, area so that I can go back. I've actually used some of my old paper pumpkin stamps, stamps to accommodate some of my new stamps. So um, I would recommend keeping these. Um, and of course, you know, there's paper pumpkin alternates all over the internet. And um, if I have some time, I will do some also. So come back and see what I come up with. So they always give you your dots and they give you your um, Stampin' Dimensionals. This time they've given us some thread. They have given us some Cherry Cobbler um, Stampin' Spot. I'm not gonna open up this one. I'm gonna use my big one, um, Cherry Cobbler. Um, so if I were traveling, I'd probably take my little one, but since I'm here in my office and I have the cherry cobbler, I'm just going to go ahead and grab that one out. Then they gave us these adorable snowflakes. So let's just go ahead and get out a few of these. These are, um, a smaller version of the big snowflakes that, um, we had for sale, um, in our mini catalog. And, um, those, um, final sale list, they, they are, um, dwindling down because people are buying. And so if there is something that you want, um, you can go on to, okay, there you go. I got it up. Lori underscore one dot stampin up dot net. That will be the, um, that's my store that you can shop at um, to get Paper Pumpkin. You can get one, one subscription and I'll put all those um, details below so you can easily see what you can do um, to get your Paper Pumpkin. Um, you can do a monthly subscription. You can do um, an occurring, a reoccurring monthly subscription. You can also, um, do six months at a time, 12 months at a time. So um, that is my website to be able to go in and uh, see what I have. All right, let's pop that off real quick. And I, while I was talking, I was just kind of continuing to break this apart. This is a big kit. It's got a lot of things to it. So this is fun. I like paper pumpkins because they're really easy, very simple. 
um, nice little project to sit down and do by yourself or you can get a group of friends and put it together um, as a group. All right, almost all done. And then we will get started. All right, last one. So the instructions are perfect because they tell exactly what the, to do. So the first thing that they say to do is grab your ho, ho, ho. And um, we are going to grab one of these tags and we are going to stamp ho, ho, ho on one of these. And it looks like we're gonna stamp from Santa on one of those. So let's make some space here. And we're just gonna do one of each, okay? You can kind of get the gist um, from just doing one of each of them. Okay, where did I put it? Right here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take the ho, 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 and it looks like that it is going to go all the way down here towards the bottom, and it's gonna be in our cherry cobbler. And if you had the small one, you would just ink it up like so. But we have the big one, so let's grab this one. And a lot of times, um, these paper pumpkins, um, they're sticky. And so sometimes you may have to prime them a little bit. Um, some people rough them up with, excuse me, their sands eraser. I didn't do that. But what I am going to do real quick is I'm just going to make sure I'm going to get a good stamp. And I am. So I'm going to just move forward. All right. So I'm just going to center it right there. Ho, ho, ho. And then I am going to, I'm very particular about cleaning my stuff off. So I'm just going to keep this open so we can clean and put away. And then the next one is going to be from Santa, which is right here. So we're gonna use the same block. And again, I'm just gonna stamp it because it's the first time I've used it and I do have good and look. Oh, make it a mess, make it a mess. All right, that's why we get inky fingers, right? And from Santa, I'm gonna put my from straight and Santa is gonna be at an angle and from Santa. All right, then step two says, that we are going to add a hat to this. We are going to add this to this, and we're gonna add a Happy Holidays to this right here. Then step three says we are going to grab one of these, and we're gonna grab a sparkly snowflake, and we're gonna get you better in the picture here. And then looks like we're going to use a little bit of ribbon. Okay, so we have everything that we're going to do. Um, all right. So on your paper, I don't know if you can see this, there's a dot here. Those are your dots here. The bigger ones, that look like um, a stop sign, those are your Stampin' Dimensional. So it literally tells you exactly where to put them and what to use. So on the back of our Santa one, it says that we are gonna peel off one of these and we are gonna put it right here. Well, did we get them down? Come on, baby. Okay, that one's not gonna turn out very good. Oh, sometimes I struggle with these. My hands don't do very good. Um, and sometimes I use my big dots if I'm having a, a really bad day, but okay. So we got it to work, so we're not gonna fret too much. All right, so we're gonna pull this over and it says this is gonna go up top and it's gonna cover the Interesting. Okay, so this is going to do that. Then 
it says that we're going to take a From Santa, and we're going to take another one of these little dots, and we're going to put it right here. And then I'm just using my Take Pick tool to get those off. And then it's saying, I'm going to hold this real quick. Like that. And then like that. You know, it doesn't say to cut these down, but I'm going to cut this down a little bit, okay? Because I think it'll look better. So I'm just going to I'm just going to do a little doctoring here. And I'm just using my paper trimmer and I am cutting off about um Oh no, let's do a half an inch on each side. Let's see what that does. Half an inch. Half an inch. That way everything's even. Let's see if that made the half look better. Just wasn't nuts about the way that looked. Hmm. I'm still not, I'm still not crazy, but it looks better. Okay, so I just cut a half an inch on this side and half an inch on this side just because I thought it might look a little bit better. All right, then it says we are going to fold, oh gosh, my hat does not want to stay on. So this is what we're going to do. We're going with a little bit of stronger adhesive. How about that? And we're going to put it right here. All right, that's better. Is that one going to stay? I've taken these on and off a couple times, so they're they're just being fussy with me. So I'm going to outsmart it. We're just going to do like that. Okay, then it wants um, the snowflake to have a couple dots, and I'm just, I'm not going to use my dots. I'm going to use my, my big stuff. I'm using the big guns and it wants it like right there. Then it wants this. I'm still, I'm sorry. I'm just really not getting this. Live, right so you can actually kind of see what's going on I just wasn't liking the way this looked so I am just, just cutting it off a little bit we're gonna put that there we're gonna take this off now the directions don't say to do this but this is the way I think that that it's gonna look better personally I'm gonna put it there like that look at that that looks so much better so much better all right um and it kind of wants us to go off to the side and it wants us to go off to the side with a few dimensionals. And it says, put a dimensional um, up here on the hat. And it says to put a dimensional right here. And then it says to put a couple dimensionals. Let's see how far down. I think we can go pretty far down, right there. So I put one up here on the hat, I put one here, and then here and here. And then we're just gonna take these backings off and we're gonna put it right here like it suggests on the side. How's that look? Everything's cleared. All right, I'm thinking I like it. All right, then we need to put in our happy holidays, right? And it says happy holidays needs to be with, where does the happy holidays go? Oh, just kind of like across the ho, ho, ho. Kind of like that. Okay, well, we're just gonna put a little strip of, of tape here. We're going with it. Happy holidays. And then it says string. Now. You get plenty of string, and it wants you just to tie a little bow, stick it on there. It does give you the dimensions, and you certainly can use those dimensions if you want to. 
or there's plenty, I promise you, there's plenty of string. I mean, don't use an absorbent amount on one, but enough that you can tie it off. Let's try this. And I always forget to get into the screenshot. I am so bad about that. Okay, how about that? I like it. I'm going to go in there. And then this time, I will have to use one of these dots. So we're going to carefully peel off the paper, and then I'm going to bring my dot in here, put that on there. That'll come off. And then I'm going to stick that there and my string is just going to fall down and I can readjust my bow to however I want until I like it. Okay, there's the first one. Very first one. All right, so that's number one. Number two. Number two. Instructions. All right, so this time, let's wipe this off. This time they want us to use no peeking. So let's grab no peeking. Where's that one at? I don't see no peeking. Oh, right here. No peeking. And no peeking goes onto a It looks like oh, a green one. Okay, so there's different colors. This is the um, oh, soft suede, I think is what color that is. Or not soft suede, um, soft succulent. This one maybe is like a garden green. I think that's the one they want you to use. So we're going to put no peeking on this. And again, we are going to be using our um, cherry cobbler that right there. No peeking. All right. And then we need our next. This time we're going to be using the Holly Jolly, which is this one. And it wants us to put on the back four dots because it's going to fit on top of this one right here. We're gonna line up those holes. All right, so four dots on the back of this one. So where are my little dots? All right, let's just, I'm just gonna do them the easy way. One, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna pop these off. One, if you have an easier way of doing this, oh, tell me, because I will try it out. Okay, so I'm going to line up my holes. That way I know I have everything on here straight. Okay, then the next thing they want us to do is to grab a candy cane. And they also want us to grab a small circle and a for you. All right, so they want us to put on the candy cane, they want us to put a couple dots. So let's do that, one there, and they want one down here. And then they want us to put it onto our circle. Then they want us to use the dimensionals on our bigger one. So it is popped up. See how easy these are? Like, so, so easy. Okay. Then they want us to put four dimensionals on the back of this. So one, two, Oops. Three and four. Okay, I'm going to put those down. Then we're going to put this in the center for you. Well, 
just like that. Then um, our no peeking, it wants just one of the dots. So we'll just put that, where does it want us to put it? Just right below the dot there. And they also want us to use some string and it says 12, so, but see, I don't need that much. So we'll just do this and then we'll get a good bow in here. Oh. All right. Cute, cute, cute. All right, and I'm going to use another one of my glue dots. And I'm just gonna stick it right there for my bow. Oh, they want this down first, okay. Well, we'll have two of those then, won't we? I want this one to go first, right here. And then it wants another dot to go right there. And to put your bow. And then you have number two. So you have a no peeking. I'll get my ribbon around there. And no peeking, and we also did the ho ho ho. Okay, so there's those two. Then for number three, let's kind of clean up our mess here. For number three, they want us to grab this time the big stamp, the monster. And I'm just gonna stick him all the way on here. And they want us to stamp him inside of here. So let's grab our this um, as big as this stamp is, and making sure that you get good press. Um, uh, a stamparatus would probably be a really good idea with this one. Um, but when I have big ones like this, I kind of rub them and press them into the table. No, I don't move my my stamp, I just kind of move the, the card because I do not want to smear it. Oh, and that came out good, I like it. Okay, and then it wants us to take one of the green and it wants us to take one of these green <clears throat> there are a lot of there are a lot of pieces here okay and then again it wants us to put it says two one here and one here and then this is supposed to go over this right here okay and I'm gonna leave this on here until I figure out what we're doing because it looks like there's white back there. And I'm thinking we're gonna put this white piece on here too, which will cover all of that up. So then it wants us to put four, one, two, three, four on the back of here. So one and two. For. And if you do have your tape runner, you can certainly do anything you want to make this project go quicker for you. You do not have to use the dots. You can use some of your products that you have at home. Come on, baby. Get that one off. And then we are ready to move on. Okay, so now we're going to line that up again. And we're gonna go down, all right. And then it wants us to turn this over and put four pieces, four sides. Okay. I might have 
needed to like move these in just a little bit. Let's see what it's gonna do to me. Ew, might not like me. Yeah, bummer, bummer. So on the instructions, it shows that these dots need to go in a little bit further. I did not read, I did not follow the directions very well. Um, and so all I'm doing is kind of taking those off and I'm gonna put two more in and I'm just gonna bring them in because that part's gonna actually hang off on your tag and it doesn't want it to be sticky. So that's why they have them bring it in. Oh, and of course I brought in the wrong ones. That's okay, I think we're good. Yep, we're good. Good, good, good. Probably would have been okay had I left those other ones on, but I wasn't sure. So I wanted to make sure it was done right. Okay, got that one. Then it calls for three of the little ones. So I'm going to, I'm just doing it this way. There's one. And it wants one up here. Come on, baby. Oh no. My hands are not doing too good. How are we doing on time? We're doing okay. There we go, one up there. One more. One more, one more. One more, one more. Let's just put it right there. Okay. And then it says another bow. So we're just gonna cut off another piece of bow. Of course, I don't have my hands in this picture again, and I'm sorry about that. Holy schmoles. I need a, one of those bow makers. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, let's take another one of these little ones right here. We'll put it on there, take that off, and then we will adhere it to the tag. Cute, right? I like that one. That one's pretty. That was really pretty. So let's see if there's any more. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there's enough to make, um, there's enough to make, how many? One, two, three, four, four, four. So I don't know. There's enough to make 12 of these. If you wanted to make them exactly like the set calls for. But this is all I'm going to make today. And I am going to do an alternate um, video on what I did with my leftover pieces from this set. And I will post another video. So I hope that you will go on to the link and um, check out my alternates. Have a great day. Merry Christmas.